Thank you so much. It is fun to be able to sing together with you, Miss Sunny. So thank you for sharing your gift of music with us and everyone else for singing along with us too. At this time, we have a moment to share together with prayer. And I don't have any specific instructions or guidelines for you today other than mention that it's Pentecost and the bishop sent a nice note saying that that's the 50th, 50th Sunday and this feels like the 50th day that we've been apart from being able to worship in person. So during this time, I guess I would just lift up in prayer your neighbors, your community, your family and friends, and all those who you might be physically separated from during this time, just to recognize that we are all one body of Christ and that the Holy Spirit keeps us all together. So let's have a moment in silent prayer to let you share your thoughts with God, and I'll bring us together after that. Dear Lord, I never really know how much time to let people pray in silence before thoughts start to wander. I know during that brief time I had a flash of inspiration and thoughts of my family and friends, and they quickly passed on to vehicles that are passing on the road, reminding me that we're surrounded by a community that is still active and alive and thriving. Lord, I may have interrupted people in the middle of their thoughts, but I hope that you hear their messages, whether they're complete now or completed later. Lord, today we're praying for all of our family and friends, all of the people that you connect us with through the Holy Spirit. For we may not be able to physically be together, but Lord, through you, we are connected. We have that gift of the fire that comes with Pentecost. It's an exciting time in the birth of our church, the beginning of the roots of what it means to be Christian. Lord, to celebrate that today through our message and through our singing and through all the thoughts that we share, Lord, I just pray that each and every person here today can feel the warmth and the love that comes from knowing God and knowing that they're a part of Christ's plan in this world and that we can rely upon the Holy Spirit to let us feel that connection. Lord, today, all the other things that have been mentioned, graduating seniors, politicians, teachers, students, leaders of our church, all these people, Lord, you can influence and guide and help encourage to make the right decisions as society tries to decide how to return to what it considers to be normal. For Lord, for us to be safe, and for us to do no harm to others, it'll be difficult to return to anything that will be considered normal before. But Lord, I do pray as, as we let the clutch out and as we start to return to activity in the world and socializing with other people and engaging in more routine activities that involve contact with others, I just pray that we will find ways to cope with the disease, that we will find ways to manage through these times until such a time we are able to find the cure for that. We are able to guarantee the safety and the health of people that could be affected by this disease. But Lord, in all things, I just thank you for the beautiful spring that we have. And I pray that you keep everyone safe as the weather decides to rear its ugly head sometimes. For if we always had sunny skies, we would never truly appreciate them. So as brothers and sisters in Christ, let us share the Lord's Prayer together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, thank you for sharing in that time of prayer with me. And I hope that there's something special in that message for you that you can take with you from now and on into the week.